Jesse, right now you have four wins under your belt. You've got $20,000 in your pocket. You're fighting for the five grand. But being that this is your fifth competition, if you win, you will also receive that bonus of $10,000. Do you want to pick the weapon or do you want to pick the forge welding technique? I want the weapon. All right. What are you thinking? I'm thinking the pair of Pugio daggers. Holy cow, what a bold choice. Pugio was a popular sidearm in second and third century Rome. Gladiators were known to battle with two Pugio, one in each hand. These close quarter combat weapons featured a wide leaf-shaped blade to inflict deep lethal wounds upon an enemy, both on the battlefield and inside the walls of the Colosseum. However, the Pugio is most well known as the weapon used to murder Julius Caesar. John, you've got a choice to make. What forge welding technique do you want to use to build your daggers? Let's go with canister, and we're going to have to use some bicycle chain in it. Bicycle chain in canister Damascus. All right, very, very tall order on the plate today. So good luck. Stay sharp. Your time starts now. Because this is my fifth battle, I'm definitely a little bit tired. I've hit that bottom plateau in terms of energy, and the only way I can go is up. I used to forge out chef's knives at home in batches of two or three, so this is a pretty comfortable zone for me. I think my canister is up to temperature now. I think it's the perfect time to bring them over to the squaring dies and start setting those welds. Right now, I have them all forged to shape, fit to dimension, just want to get them ready for heat treat now. It's time for Le Quench. So I decided to do one at a time. Oh, we got a quench. The temperature of my first blade looked perfect. Now it's time to put blade two in the fire. All right, Jesse's got two blades quenched. It went perfectly. There were no warps in either blade. It's time to grind these blades to final dimension. I slap on a fresh 36 grit and just start going ham. But there's still a few things that I need to do in this round, include finish shaping the handle and then sharpening it. I leave myself a lot of time to sharpen these blades because I don't want to run out of time and have one edge unsharpened. So the idea that I've got is that I'm gonna forge the two knives out of one billet and I'm gonna stretch out the tang in the middle and then I'll cut those in two. So after I've got them ground, now it's time to heat treat. Out of the oil, it looks good. I think I've got what I want. That's gonna work. And then I go to the grinder. That's not good. The second blade, I notice a key lamp on the edge. I am concerned that another could show up while I grind, but I think I've still got enough width and so now I'm just gonna work that out. I now have to assemble these two handles. It is gonna be a big challenge all the way around. I know I have to find a handle because the, the clock marches on. Everything seems to be just right, but I glance and I'm, I'm seeing I've, I've used up better than an hour, so I know I've gotta keep moving on. It's a very complex handle. I know that I have a lot of moving parts in this. I know I'm gonna to have to make sure everything fits properly with it. What John's doing is a great idea, but it's very, very time consuming. It's not an easy process, but I do get them inset some. After I get the pommel glued on, then it's to the grinder. It looks like a potato on a stick. Um, it doesn't look great, and I need to get this shaped into something that is functional. What John's got going on his handle, it kind of almost looks like a dog chew bone. I still need to um, sharpen the blade. I get it etched. I'm racing the clock right now, and I don't have time to make mistakes today. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmiths, throw up your machines, put down your tools. This battle is over. Bladesmiths, welcome to our strength test, the armor, stab, and slash. Jesse, you're up first. You ready to go? I'm ready to go. I know you love going first. Yep. All right, Jesse, you survived. Good job. Uh, your blades look great. I like the symmetry on these. I mean, they look like a matched pair. Everything's tight, everything's smooth. Your edges are still good. You do have a few flat spots, but there's not enough there where I can catch a nail on it. The biggest issue I have is the handles. They have no grip to them whatsoever. 
enough so it was one of the chops. I actually caught a knuckle because the knuckle slipped up. Some contouring would have made it a lot easier to hold on to them. But otherwise, great job. Thank you. It's always fun being the second guy, right, sure. John? Why not? <laughs> you ready to go? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. All right, John, you survived. Gotta be happy about that. You got some glinting on the edges. Nothing I'm really catching on. The biggest problem I have, the contouring you have on there is basically the exact opposite of what I said about Jesse's. They're not sliding anywhere, but they're not comfortable at all. But overall, they held together and nothing came loose. Edges survived, good job. Gladiators of the Forge. This is the sharpness test, the banner slice. Jesse up first, you ready for this? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> All right, Jesse, let's talk about your matching Ujo daggers here. That's a beautiful match set. They're quite identical, very close to that. Now your edge, your edge is cut nicely. And overall, your weapon, you will cut. John, your turn, so you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do this. All right, John, let's talk about your Pujo daggers here. Your edges are sharp, it's just that it's got a grind in here that's not razor sharp. So when cutting with this, there are some areas in this where it just got snagged with the blade and it does rip a little bit. But overall, sir, your Pujo daggers, you will cut. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, after eight hours of furious battle where you guys built your Pugio daggers out of bicycle chain canister Damascus, it is coming down to a final decision. Only one of you can come out of here on top with the title of Gladiator of the Forge. Jesse, if you win, that will be your fifth win, and you will have $35,000 in your pocket. Now, John, if you win, you'll stop his winning streak, get your first Gladiator of the Forge title, a check for $5,000 and the opportunity to go forward into the next battle. Our judges have discussed your blades, and they made a final decision. Today's Gladiator of the Forge is... Jesse, you have done it again. That is five total wins. John, you brought us a good pair of blades, but unfortunately, they didn't come out on top, and Jay's gonna tell you why. John, you did a great job out there. You should definitely be proud of yourself. We sure as heck enjoyed watching you work. But at the end of the day, the inner grinds on your Puggio daggers weren't as sharp as your competitors as we saw during the sharpness test. And you had a great idea for the handle, but it kind of went south, so that's why we're sending you home. John, there's no question you're talented. I know you had your competitor here worried for a little bit. Unfortunately, you didn't come out on top today. At this point, I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. This is just one more learning experience. Take your education and move to the next thing. Jesse, you are a five-time champion. You got another check for five grand and a bonus of $10,000. Congratulations. Thank you. So right now, I gotta ask again, do you have enough energy to go back in the forge and fight out another battle? Put me in, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I love right. it. All right, man. I have five titles. I'm not ready to give up this seat anytime soon. 